Basically, the Doobie Brothers were upset with Bill Murray because <laughs> Bill Murray was... I, I'm less sorry, I, I need to slow down a little bit this one because this is a story. Yes. Bill Murray has a clothing line. <laughs> Yeah, uh, first off, those of you who don't watch golf, Bill Murray wears the wildest random shits to program golf tournaments. Like, even get even gays and cash just to go back, oh, dear God, <laughs> please cover up, honey. <laughs> gay. Appropriating gay Sean's a very funny thing. Uh, Bill, Murray, <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray has his own golf apparel brand, and that's why he's, like, dressed very flamboyantly. And this always reminds me and he of... He wears two fucking gloves! Who wears two gloves when you golf? Mismatch colors! Anyways. Probably O.J. Simpson. <laughs> and that's what we call a callback. But this also reminds me of the Coke, the fail Coke son, like one of the Coke grandsons who oh, designs those yeah. really ridiculous shirts. Right. Um, anyways, Murray was running new ads promoting the golf shirt called Zero Hucks Given, which is a play on Huckleberry Finn, mm -hmm. one of the actor's favorite literary characters. However, uh, he never contacted the Doobie Brothers in their use of the song um, Listen to the Music in the ads. The Doobie Brothers were upset mm. and they penned a letter that I'm going to now read in full because it's amazing. Dear Mr. Murray, we're writing on behalf of our clients, the Doobie Brothers, this is their lawyers naturally, mm. uh, who perform and record the song Listen to the Music, which Tom Johnson of the Doobie Brothers wrote. It's a fine song. I know you agree because you keep using it in your ads for the Zero Hooks Given golf shirts. However, given that you haven't paid to use it, maybe you should change your name to Zero Bucks Given. We understand that you're running <laughs> other ads using music from one other of our clients. It seems like the only person who uses our client's music without, or, without permission more than you do is Donald Trump. This is part of, this is the part where I'm supposed to cite the United States Copyright Act, excoriate you for not complying with some subparagraph that I'm too lazy to look up, and threaten you with eternal damnation for doing so, <laughs> but you already earned that with those Garfield movies. <laughs> and you already know that you can't use the music and ads without paying for it. We'd almost be okay with the shirts weren't so goddamn ugly. <laughs> but it is what it is, so in the immortal words of Jean-Paul Sartre, Au revoir, golfer, et paes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine getting absolutely ethered by Peter T. Paterno of King Holmes and Paterno LLP. Oh my god, that is the best season assist letter ever in my, like, I've ever read in ethered. my life. Where she, he's like, I'm, I'm supposed to cite this, but I'm too fucking lazy, so you know the drill. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> but your shirts to, are so ugly. It's like, I'm supposed to cite this, but like, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, <laughs> it's the on. funniest shit ever. <laughs> Oh, and Bill Murray has a response. Bill Murray's lawyer. Oh, wow. I did not, I did not I see this. I told you this episode was almost a no-chill island. I did not see this. Oh, <laughs> fuck, it should have been no-chill island. I would have gone off. So, um, Damn. here's the response, which I will unfortunately be reading in full. <coughs> I should have done the vocal preparations for this. Our firm represents WM Golf Inc., a.k.a. William yeah. Murray Golf. First, I'd like to compliment you on finding levity in the law at a time when this world and this country certainly could use a laugh. Your client's demand was able to cut through the noise, the news cycle, and remind us how much we miss, we all miss live music these days. We would also like to confirm that both our film and the good folks at William Murray Golf are indeed fans of the Doobie Brothers music, which is why we take appreciation to your firm's choice of taking to the streets rather than to the courts, <laughs> which are already overburdened by minute by minute with real problems. Mm -hmm. And now he's just like quoting yeah. um, songs by the Doobie Brothers. I'm sure that Howard King of your firm, who argued that the song Blurred Lines of Robin Thicke, Pharrell Williams, and T.I. fame That's T.I. did not <laughs> infringe on Marvin Gaye's composition Gotta Give It Up. <laughs> Would you agree just... that your client was not harmed under these circumstances? Did he, he just like straight Vanilla Ice to award him? <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, this is, this is, okay. The term legal jujitsu is overused. This, this is, is legal, legal jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All that to say, you're, I mean, so I'll just back up and also just say here, he's saying that, oh, well, you tried this other case over here where apparently there weren't that major damages caused mm -hmm. from um, this case. And this is something that you argued at your firm. So uh, what's up here? What's up with that? Continuing. All that to say, your negative comments about their fashionableness are especially disconcerting to all of us, especially considering 75% of my wardrobe consists of William Mur Murray polos, shorts, and pants. 
That's Color rough. me biased, but yeah, that's really rough. Color me biased, but the consensus on this side of the table is that Bill and the brothers have some of the most clever and creative lifestyle wear available that anyone pays me for. Sorry I added that part. Because <laughs> he's like his yeah, lawyer, yeah, of course yeah. he's going to say this shit. In the immortal words of Mr. Murray, another set of words mm. that probably cost a lot of money, the more relaxed you are, the better you are at everything. So let's pour one up and unwind and listen to one of the least recently released Quadio box set and plan to cross paths at a Doobie Brothers 50th anniversary show in 2021 when some level of normalcy resumes. As your client so aptly stated in this classic song in question, quote, what the people need is a way to make them smile, which both Bill and the Doobies mm -hmm. have been doing for decades as world-class entertainers. Please provide us with the shirt size for yourself Tom Johnson, Patrick Simmons, Michael McDonald, John Ma John McPhee, along with which of our client shirts you find the least offensive, and we will happily upgrade your wardrobes and hopefully win each of you over as new fans of the brand. At least that's quote what this fool believes. <laughs> so I mean, like, it's a nice reply. That's I think. Hilarious. I think the original case like stands more and it's a, a larger thing to be talked about how in music um, a lot of art like a lot of people just steal artists music and oh, they don't I mean you can see that I mean them. you can see it on shirts and stuff all the time and having lyrics yeah. on shirts other things so it's interesting to see what like legal ramifications should that be or what we never really got into deep conversation within that on royalties and other things of putting people's music onto merchandise that it that is not sold by a band. Per yeah, se. that's really difficult. I remember at a previous job that um, there was an issue <laughs> with putting people's likenesses on shirts because like mm -hmm. they're not consenting to that. And there's a difference between public figures and not. Mm -hmm. But even then, there's some public figures. If you were rich and like your likeness like was popular and famous, as it will be soon, Sean, just give us some time. Um, yeah, wouldn't you want to make some money off of that shirt? I'm sure like you wouldn't care if there's some homies down in um, Santa Fe Springs at the car wash with like these Sean shirts. You know, I, like, I, I, you know, I really, yeah. At a certain point, you you want a little bit of that paper. Tiny bit, not much. Yeah, so it, it's within the right to do that. If they're, if they're at the Del Amo swamp meet, you know, s s sitting out of their uh, 2004 Chevy Tahoes and like putting up a Sean shirt, it's like, oh, oh that's fine. You, Get, get your check. Absolutely not. Like, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to cut on your, on your seven bucks, homie. That's fine. That's like getting high on your own supply. But, like, once Target and, like, Walmart start doing, like, um, <laughs> Sean, there's no words there shirts or whatever that, like, they take some phrase that isn't even yours and have your face on it, um, that's going to be... Everybody says my face is very memeable, including my girlfriend, so apparently it's a thing. I mean, this show is a testament to that your face is very memeable, yes. so I guess so. <laughs> 